sometimes the structures, the names of the structures in anatomy land are easy. Deep to the mucosa is a layer called something fantastic. Are you ready? Dude, it's the submucosa. Hmm, I'm going to have to write my submucosa this way. Submucosa. Most often the submucosa is made of dense, irregular connective tissue, most often. Holy, okay, connective tissue, mess, dense, irregular. And I'm telling you right now, when you see the dense, irregular connective tissue, it, it's extremely obvious. I'm going to go back to that picture that we looked at there. Look, I can't draw on this right now. Look at this, a thick layer. That is my mucosa. That whole thing is my mucosa. From here, I can't identify whether I'm in submucosa, lamina propria. I mean, I know I'm not in submucosa. My epithelial tissue. Ugh, look, I can't help it. Here we are. Does that look like epithelial tissue? So what is deep to the epithelium? That's my lamina propria. And if we move deep to that, you'll see a very thin layer right there. That's smooth muscle. And then what? Holy mess of madness, really. Look at that mess of madness. There's adipose tissue in there. There's blood vessels running through it. I mean, we have all sorts of craziness happening in there. That's my submucosa. Submucosa is a mess. Look at it. And look at how huge it is. So mucosa, submucosa. And it's not rocket science. Like it really, you just look at it and you go, oh yeah, mucosa, there it is. You can go in closer and you can totally identify. I would expect to see muscularis mucosi right here along this line, and you will. I would expect this to then be submucosa. And it's that simple. There's your submucosa. Now the next layer, we're going to, we've got one more section, well, two more, but we're going to go deep to that. So we're continuing to move away from the lumen of our tube. 